it's David Waite here from Jubilee College and I thought I would put together uh, something a little bit different today, uh, something crucial as well though for all reflexologists and that is taking care of your hands and so uh, something that I always recommend people do before they start uh, their uh, series of treatments for the day is to actually look after your own hands and to do some stretches. If I could give you an analogy, um, take Usain Bolt, fastest man in the world. Does he just saunter up to the starting block, get himself set, ready to go, and run the race? Or does he spend some time warming up before he does his race? Well, of course, it's the latter. Our hands are our tools, they are our business, and we need to take care of them. And I must admit, with the way that I teach, um, that is the paramount focus on taking care of your hands. Um, so that's also, of course, why I develop finger-free reflexology as well, so you don't even have to use your fingers to do treatments. But um, enough of that. This is all about um, doing exercises before you get started so that you can protect your fingers and your thumbs. So what we're going to start with is actually doing some shoulder rolls because we actually want to remember that our hands are at the ends of our arms. So let's do some nice shoulder rolls. Rotate your neck at the same time as well. And then when you're ready, go the other way. So reverse it. And loosen up. You can bring your shoulders up sorry, elbows up, and bring this into play, so that you're really loosening off all the upper body, all of your shoulder girdle is being loosened nicely by these exercises. Okay, so what you're now going to do is to extend that exercise down the arm. And this is a technique I call walk like an Egyptian. So I'm just going to move backwards just a little bit so you can see all of this because you, you're going to need the full width of the room. So we're going to go like this. So it's a case of... And you will actually be rotating your spine as you do this. So I want you to look at the hand that goes palm up while we're doing this exercise. Okay, the next exercise to do would be what I call a prey stretch. So place your hands as if they're in a prey position and literally just drop your hands down or bring your elbows up Hold this for about 10 seconds and then stretch out and have a good old shake out. Do it again. Stretch down. So you can feel that stretch all the way along your forearms. Now it doesn't matter if you can't stretch it very far. As you can see with me, I can't actually get my arms quite parallel. Doesn't matter. It's the stretch that matters. And again, bring it back up again. And shake out. One more. Stretch down. Whatever you do, don't overstretch. This is just to kind of loosen yourself up. Not to hurt yourself. And then stretch, stretch shake out. Now what we're going to do is just add something to this prey stretch. So I want you to imagine that your left hand is going to push your right hand towards the wall. Now you'll be able to feel that that has changed. and There's much more of a stretch going on on one side. Do the opposite. Stretch so that your right hand is pushing into the wall. I'm just going to move back just in case you can't see that. OK, 
come back to the centre again, push out towards the wall, the stretch will change. Come to the centre, push out to this side. Come to the centre, push out to this side. And as you can see, I'm doing this three times each. It's a bit like when we walk a line, isn't it, as reflexologists? Do it three times each. <laughs> okay, so that's great. So, flex and shake out. Now what we're going to do is something slightly different. We're going to do a downward stretch now. So placing the thumb onto the female prominence and placing your hand along the back, stretch down and then flex up. Stretch down, flex up, stretch down, flex up. And you should be able to feel that stretch all across these muscles just here. So we're going to do the same on this hand. Thumb on the phenol prominence, stretch down. So my holding hand is actually doing the stretch for me. Stretch up, stretch down. Stretch up, stretch down, stretch up. Now I'm going to do one that you're probably kind of going to be quite aware of. Interlock the fingers and then push away. So just for a comfortable stretch, hold that for 10 seconds. And if you can, can you see my little finger is pushing back against my other little finger. My thumb is pushing back against my index finger and then gently come back and shake out. Coming back again like this. Push out. Hold it for about 10 seconds. Feel the stretch in the fingers. Come back gently. Don't ever release it, boom, like that, because you were wanting to be careful with our tendons and but by all means make stars with your hands as well if you feel that that's going to be helpful to you and then once more stretching out hold it for 10 seconds and then gently release shake out we'll make some stars okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to do an exercise for our th fingers and thumbs. So we're going to touch the tips of each finger with our thumbs and then stretch those fingers out after the touch. So it really is a case of nice and gently flexing each of the joints. Now there is no number as such to do with this exercise, just as much as you want to do. Just so it warms up all the muscles of your hand before you're going to be getting into doing the treatment. What we're then going to do is to do a pull and twist on the thumb. So hold the thumb with your um, holding hand and pull, just a nice gentle pull and then rotate or twist, whichever one you want to call it. And then we're going to do the fingers as well. So pull, gentle pull, gentle pull. Now you may be wondering why am I not doing the twist further up the finger. There is actually a reason it wouldn't do it any good at all because we have got a different kind of joint the rest of the, the way up with our fingers. We have got um, flexible joints. They're um, semi 
ball and socket joints. They're not quite a ball and socket joint, but they're, they're kind of uh, the same down, the same type that we've got in our wrist, which allow for all kind of movement apart from rotation. Um, so the joint in our fingers is just a hinge joint. So it only goes extension and flexion. So there's no point in trying to do a rotation at this point because all you're going to do is just exactly the same action as you were doing it here. Okay, carrying on. So pull, rotate, gentle rotation. We don't want to be going um, 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 um. It wants to be nice. Now of course don't forget the other hand. By the time you've done this, you should really be able to feel it in your fingers that they're kind of, yeah, something's happened. This is good. Finally, to benefit the muscles in your hands, make a fist with one hand. And this is, this is actually almost doing finger-free hand reflexology on the palm of your hand is what you're going to be doing. In finger-free we use this knuckle just here and I would like you to just literally pop that knuckle onto the palm of the hand and then make rotations. You could literally run down each of the zones of your hand and that will feel gorgeous because it'll really really loosen up the muscles in the palm of your hand. So you can see what I'm just doing here using that one knuckle there. It doesn't matter by the way if you're doing all the knuckles on the whole of the palm of the hand. And in fact, if you're short for time, just like I'm doing just now. So keeping this hand really flexible and then just rotations with this part just here. And it feels gorgeous. Now the heel of the hand is an area where you're wanting to spend extra attention. The thenar prominence just here and the heel of the hand always seems to carry tension. So for this area, this area just here, I would particularly say just do rotations with whichever is the biggest knuckle, whether it be this one or that one, just do rotations like that. And that is absolutely lovely. You can really feel it kind of getting into the muscles of this area of your hand. So we'll do the same again with this hand. And I must admit, now that I've done that to this hand, this hand feels completely different to this one. So we're going to, again, I'm going to get that knuckle. Now I'm not gliding because I've not got any cream on. I'm literally just staying in one place, circling, moving it, staying in one place, circling, staying in the next place, circling. So it's not gliding over. We're not using any cream. Don't need to use any cream for this wanting to get nice and deep. Oh, that feels lovely actually, that one does. Want to get nice and deep into the muscles of the hand. So I'm going all the way around this area here with that one knuckle and now I'm going to use these knuckles to go down the zones. Remember to keep the hand that you're working on, the hand that you're massaging, nice and relaxed. No point in having it like this, that's not going to do any good at all. Want to be nice and relaxed. Okay, so that is how to do a lovely quick hand massage 
so that you're ready for your clients. I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, if you have and you haven't done before, um, do please like and subscribe. It's somewhere down the bottom there, I think. Um, like and subscribe on, uh, on my channel and uh, then you get notified of new videos that I put on. Thanks ever so much for watching. Bye-bye.